Oftentimes you guys have seen me share and talk about Muizu Kanji on my page. And some of you have gathered that we are related, yes. But you don't know the reason why I stand by her. It's because I have seen certain things that the enemy has planned against her life. Particularly, you can see how people fight her on social media. It can look as if people are fighting her just the physical, but rather people will do things to her even spiritually. I was saying yesterday in my live stream, I was explaining to say, look, before people can start ranting on social media, talking negative things about you, even in the physical, they are trying something and we should never take prayers lightly. This was yesterday in my live stream. A few years or so, something happened to Mwazukanji, which she has never shared to social media, but I'm aware of it. And this prophet is confirming what they have attempted to do to Mwazukanji and we have told our family to be careful with the people who smile at her and try to pretend to be friends with her, especially people who uh, are all over. You know, today they are this side, tomorrow they are that side. She needs to be careful. Listen to what the Zambian prophet had to say, Prophet T. L. Calvin. I'm absolutely dumbfounded that he spotted exactly what they've been planning to do to Muizu Kanji. Listen to this. The reason why I've called you to talk to you, because when I went there, I wanted to make declarations and close, but I saw a vision that was disturbing on your head. I saw a vision, and in this vision, I see people, like there was, this is like a celebration or a party. I'm seeing people dancing and drinking, and these are ladies and gentlemen, they're there, and they're celebrating. But as they're celebrating, I saw somebody with a black bag, and then they got something, and they dipped in a glass of wine, and I saw this lady getting a glass and then she drank. Then I saw after three days she developed problems with her stomach. I'm seeing her admitted in the hospital. And I'm seeing her being taken back, admitted, taken back. And then they are telling her to say her stomach is damaged. And I'm asking God to say, who is this person? I heard the name Prudence. That's my young sister. Prudence. Mr. Ganji, yes. Prudence is your young sister. Yes. Prudence Nakam. Prophesy, daddy. To the prophetic, the prophetic energetic analyzer. To the prophetic. God says you should tell your young sister to be very careful. Amen. There are people that are jealousy of what God is doing in her life. Amen. Because I'm seeing her rising. Amen. And as she's rising, I'm seeing a person not very far, but a little bit closer, poisoning her. And I'm seeing them dipping poison in a glass. I don't know if this is juice or wine or something, but it looks like a wine glass, in a wine glass. Um. And I saw her drinking. And after drinking, I'm seeing her stomach being compromised. Um. It will be in and out of the hospital, in and out of the hospital. The third time, it will be like the, the, the stomach will be protruding as if somebody is pregnant. Um. They will do an operation, I'm seeing her going back. And I'm seeing a series of operations without success. Um. Because there is poison that is, I'm seeing it right now as I'm speaking. And God says we should pray for divine intervention right now. Amen. Amen. Because this is a very serious matter. I'm seeing people closer, not very far, getting yeah. jealous to say, no, 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 let us be able to stop her and slow her down. So tell Prudence that she should pray. Amen. I'll tell her just right away. Huh? I'll call her just now. You should and tell her to say she needs to be very careful. And she must pray certain people out of her circle. Amen. I'll pray. I'll give you direction even after the service. And when you do that direction, everything is going to be in order. Amen. Prophet. Who is Jemima? That's my daughter. My first one daughter. Who is Jaden? That's my second son. That's my son. That is your second son? Yes. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. You can do better. Celebrate Jesus. I'll pray for you, my brother, Amen. because I'm seeing greatness on your head. I'm seeing the Lord raising you and taking you very far. I receive. I'm seeing the Lord blessing the works of your hands. I receive. I saw you rising in your family, but it's like at some point things began to go down. Amen. 
I'm seeing a very great business destiny on you. And I'm seeing part. you doing business, doing this, doing that. But I saw a stage where the business gets to, and I'm seeing it like closed and nothing is moving. Yes, Papa. But I saw this business being restored. I receive it. Whatever I'm telling you, that's not what I wanted to tell you. The vision I mentioned there, that's the only thing. But I'm just telling you so that you should know that God is speaking. Because Amen. the thing is, how did I know all these things that I'm saying? My father. Tell me. We have a prophecy confirmation right here. Tell me, tell me, tell me. The man here confirms your prophecy and he says he has been having dreams of somebody being poisoned and it's not only him my father even some of the family members have been seeing this in their dreams my father you have been having dreams like that yes sir. yes papa how have you been dreaming them uh, uh there was a point that uh, we are like what at the part of something then someone dropped uh then it's like it's me who took it and later on i started feeling like uh maybe yes like at the stomach pain or something and whatnot about two occasions but have you shared with anyone about this? Maybe me or any of the pastors no, no. or anyone? I haven't shared to anyone. Now imagine how I'm explaining it accurately. Where I'm saying a person drinks poison and they develop the problem with the stomach. It is your sister, Prudence, Amen. that they are planning to do this thing to. Yes, Papa. But you, I'm seeing a problem. I'm, I'm seeing legs. Yes, Papa. Legs. I've got issues with my legs. For the past, I would say... More than eight years. You have I've been taking pain gas every time. Every time I was coming here, I even took one. God is healing your legs as well. Amen. I receive a man. I'm seeing spares. Yes, Papa. Car spares. I do spares and uh, the car sales, Papa. You do car spares and car sales? Yes, yes. Prophesy, Daddy. But your business has been slow lately. It has been slow. God says, prepare, starting this like December, getting into next year. It will rise again. Amen. I receive, Papa. I'm seeing a very good woman by your side. Yes, I don't Papa. know if this is Ellie now, Elida or something. Elida Temple. That's my wife. That is your wife? Yes. <laughs> if your husband mentions your name and your surname, ah, <laughs> just know that you're a very good woman. That is your wife? Yes, Papa. Your wife is a very good woman. A very prayerful woman. Yes, I'm Papa. hearing her prayers right now as I'm speaking. Yes, Papa. And I'm hearing her praying. I'm hearing prayers in the spirit. Yes, Papa. And she prays for you a lot, and I'm seeing things have been in order now. Yes, Papa. In fact, this issue of prudence that I'm mentioning should have happened some time back, but your wife even prays for the same prudence. Yes. I'm hearing her interceding for yes. prudence. Yes, Papa. They're, very, they're in good terms too much. They talk a lot. and uh, They're in good terms. Yes, Papa. I'm hearing her praying for prudence, and her prayers have helped to stop this thing and to slow it down. Yes, Papa. But now let us intervene and stop it. Yes, Papa. Okay? I listen. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. I declare your legs. Yes. Heal! In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shall say to him.